Hello dear students friends. Good morning. In the last class we came up to the instantaneous closure of valve in elastic pipes. This will go one slide before. When the valve is closed instantaneously, rise of pressure takes place due to which circumferential and longitudinal stresses are produced in the pipe wall. These stresses are given as from the knowledge of strength of materials that sigma c is equal to mu nu divided by 2t and sigma 1 is equal to mu nu divided by 4t where sigma c is circumferential stress and sigma l is nothing but longitudinal stress here Sigma C is the circumferential stress, whereas here Sigma L mu nu divided by 4t is longitudinal stress, where mu is Poisson's ratio, u is velocity, t is time taken to close the valve. Also, strain energy stored in the pipe material per unit volume is given by 1 upon 2e whole multiplied by sigma c square plus sigma l squared minus 2 sigma c sigma l divided by m. Further, we can substitute some values and we can simplify 1 upon 2e whole multiplied by rho d divided by 2t whole squared that is sigma c squared. Similarly, sigma l squared is PD here also sorry PD not rho P P pressure pressure PD by 2T whole squared plus PD divided by 4T whole squared see this is a usual mistake even as a teacher sometimes we do this is this this is the symbol for rho and this is P sometimes P and rho especially when we type when we write, of course, we can easily identify the difference. When we type, that P looks like sometimes rho. That's why I spelt wrongly. Rho. Very sorry. PD squared, PD by 2T whole squared plus PD by 4T whole squared. Minus 2 times PD divided by 2T multiplied by Sigma L is nothing but PD by 4T is equal to 1 upon 2E P square D squared by 4T squared P square plus D squared 16T squared minus P square D squared 4 MT squared not EMPTY small m multiplied by T squared MT squared assuming L by M is equal to 1 upon 4 we have Stored energy per unit volume is equal to 1 upon 2e whole multiplied by p square d square divided by 4t squared plus p square d square divided by 16t squared minus p square d square divided by 16t squared is equal to p square d square divided by 8et squared after simplification. Strain energy stored in pipe material is equal to this amount this amount multiplied by total volume of pipe material total volume of pipe material so total volume of pipe material is pi capital D into T multiplied by L D is the diameter T is the thickness L is the length of the pipe okay which comes about P squared multiplied by D cube L divided by 8 E T where E is Young's modulus of elasticity of pipe material. Further, if you take this equation, we can write it in the other form P squared ADL divided by 2ET. This step you yourself analyze and bring it to this form so that you will have at least some, you will have at least some brain work at home. Because 
area of the pipe is equal to pi by 4 d squared. Anyway, I have given the hint. Loss of kinetic energy, excuse me, therefore loss of kinetic energy of water. This is the strain energy stored in the pipe material. Which one? This one. P squared ADL by 2 ET is the strain energy stored in pipe material. Pipe is happened to be an elastic one. Loss of kinetic energy of water. Loss of kinetic energy of water is equal to half mv squared that is equal to half rho AL into v squared that comes about half mv squared is equal to half of rho AL multiplied by v squared gain of strain energy in water half of p squared by k multiplied by volume that is nothing but half p squared k multiplied by AL. Next step also the loss of kinetic energy of water is equal to gain of strain energy in water plus strain energy stored that partially we have studied in previous case also. Therefore half p a l multiplied by v squared must be equal to half p squared by k multiplied by a l plus p squared a d l by 2 e t dividing both sides by a l by 2 we get reduce we get reduced this equation as pv squared is equal to p squared by k plus p squared d by et that is equal to p squared whole multiplied by 1 upon k plus d by et where p squared is equal to pv squared whole divided by 1 upon k plus d plus et you see, in order to understand these individual steps, you have to write on paper, you have to practice it, then you will not forget. Because on the two on online teaching, if it is a blackboard teaching, we used to write every step slowly and slowly when we explain, more students will grasp very quickly. In online, maybe it is not possi quite possible to write everything. That too, when we write everything will be get, um, uh, uh, what we can say, they will be get clashed with each other. So that's why it does not look nice every time to write is wherever the blank space is available. So that's why you have to practice it on paper at home. P squared is equal to PV squared divided by 1 upon K plus D by ET. Further, further, P is equal to square root of whole amount whatever we have written here that you have to write just under the square root remove the square here that's all is equal to v you can take it outside because it is uh, v squared under the root the remaining is p divided by 1 upon k plus d by et d by et therefore one page before that's all that is the formula p is equal to v into square root of p by 1 plus 1 upon k plus d by et where t is the thickness e is the elasticity of modulus of pipe material d is the diameter of the pipe k is bulk modulus of elasticity of fluid and p is the pressure okay in the next slide in the next slide time required by pressure wave to travel from the valve to the tank and from tank to valve Time taken T is equal to distance travelled from the valve to tank and back, velocity of pressure wave. Therefore, time is equal to L plus L divided by C that is equal to 2L by C. That is T is equal to 2L by C which we were discussing uh, in the previous uh, slides that I will say at the end of this class where L is equal to length of the pipe and C is velocity of pressure. Therefore, T is equal to L by C that is known as when it is equal, it is known as critical time. Critical time. It is critical time. Okay. Either it is not typed here. Critical. Thank you for watching. We will continue in the next class.